Innovations in Blockchain Mining and Transaction Processing Good evening. Uh, thank you, Jimmy. Um, about 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago, I worked in the, my first job, I should say, at a university was cutting my teeth and working for an online gaming company. And that company, some of you may have heard of, is called Bodog. And it was super, super exciting times. It was right at the beginning where you saw a few years earlier all these online sports books start to appear in these online casinos. So I was very lucky to work in this space. You had this nascent technology, the web, and you merged it. It was fused with one of the oldest forms of recreation in the world, gambling. And that created this massive, massive and endless opportunities for innovation and growth. And I think about it now, I'm 20 something years later, and I work for a company called Tal. And although I get to work in day in, day out with all types of business builders, application builders, enterprises, what's really interesting is I feel that same level of energy I felt 20 plus years ago. And it's not because of the internet and web, instead it's because of these emerging technologies such as blockchain. So, that's why I'm excited to work with a company like Tal. Tal, um, you may have heard of, you may not have heard of, but we're best known as a digital asset miner um, in our ecosystem. We are a publicly traded company, like Jimmy mentioned. We're based here in Toronto, and uh, we have offices in Switzerland, in Zug, uh, where we do our business development, or our product, and our engineering work is done out of there. So, Tal, when you think about it, you think about a digital asset mining company. It's the company that builds a lot of infrastructure, builds their hashing power, and mines for coins. We do do that, but we see a future very different than our competitors. We see actually a future where instead of just mining for those coins, we are building our processing power. We're building our infrastructure to eventually be able to and be in a position to underpin all of the data and all of the payment transactions on the internet. That means things like smart cities where you have autonomous vehicles communicating with smart streets or street lights sensors. And this can amount to thousands, or not thousands, billions of transactions eventually, if not trillions. We think about the future carbon trading markets where you tokenize your carbon footprint in that trade. Think about energy markets and IoT messaging. And then, of course, payment standards and just cash. And we want to underpin that. Now, it sounds very ambitious, and it is, but Tal is making some very significant, meaningful steps to get there. And today, very briefly, I wanted to touch on some of those steps and also explain to you how that relates a bit to the iGaming space. So, the first step is you need a technology that will be able to underpin and power the internet of tomorrow. And so, that technology to house all of that data, to process all of that data, is the blockchain that will scale. The second part is you need to have a blockchain with massively low transaction costs. We're not talking about a penny. We're not talking about half a penny. We're talking about a fraction of a penny. You need the stability. You need to know, and enterprises and application builders need to know that if they're building on a blockchain, that it will be around, it's stable. They can invest millions and millions of dollars on that blockchain. And lastly, it has to be secure. And that blockchain, of course, is the Bitcoin SV blockchain, and we've been talking about that today, so I don't have to get to too much more detail, but we at Tal strongly believe that this will underpin the future of the internet. So you have the technology, and that's what we've been doing, we've been working off, and now you have to have the infrastructure. So Tal, over the last few years, is building massive amounts of infrastructure, so we have some data centers, and we're processing power, or we're creating our processing power. The second part of that is you need to have an innovation platform to capture all of those future transactions. So over the last year, Tal's team has been working very, very hard to create a platform, what I call a platform for innovation. So essentially it allows application builders and enterprises 
that want to build their business or integrate their business onto the blockchain, they can come and use our software service platform. And they can use solutions. For example, we've started a token creation and management studio. We've built a, a blockchain storage solution so you can put your data on chain immutably and very cost effectively. And then we've created a, a last, uh, but not least, a blockchain explorer where you, once you put that data on chain, you can see that what that data is. You can explore it, you can audit it, you can pull reports. And those are just some of the solutions we're working on right now. So you can build that platform, but you also need to get people there. And in order to get people there, you need to build, you need to have a bit of a secret sauce. And that's, you need to make it easy as possible for people to onboard. So when they come up to Tal, they can sign up on the website, and they have to make it, we have to, as Tal, make it very frictionless, which means we offer, for example, the ability for our clients, enterprises, and application builders to pay in fiat, in their local currency. So they don't have to hold any crypto or coins. They don't have to use a digital wallet. They sign up, and it makes it really easy. The other aspect I would call of our secret sauce is the fact that our developers or any enterprise can easily port over from another blockchain, and you've seen some of the examples today with some of the technology out there, but they can use our software development kits, our documentation, and a number of other tools we've created uh, on our website. And third, you need world-class customer service. So that's super, super important. So why am I telling you this, and how does it relate to the on ga online gaming space in particular? Well, we work with a number, a number of companies in the ecosystem here, and you heard about some of them today. Um, and one example would be that we have play-to-earn games, okay? And play-to-earn games are coming and taking advantage of the blockchain, its scalability attributes, and its low cost. And think about this, when you're doing a play-to-earn game, and if you want to issue tokens, and you want to issue millions of tokens, and Jimmy talked about this earlier, it only makes sense if you can issue them at a fraction of a fraction of a cent at very low cost. And this blockchain enables these games to do so. Uh, second of all, we have player and games that want to put all their player moves on chain. Some of the history, and that can be for auditing purposes, that could be for interoperability, so you can go from one game to the next game, but we're seeing that. And for that to be possible economically, you need to have a chain that can scale and has low cost, because this can amount to millions and millions and millions of transactions, and we are already seeing that with some games, that they're doing that every day. So the economics have to make sense. We're also seeing instant leaderboard payout games. You heard about Hayes today, but we're seeing other companies that just want to do penny bets. You can only do penny bets and settle <laughs> instantly if you have a blockchain that has massively low fees. So we're talking fractions of a cent. So then you, it makes economic sense to bet in pennies and to settle in pennies. So another example of a game or uh, platforms we're starting to see is affiliate marketing. So there are affiliate marketing companies that are talking to us. Why? Because they want to take advantage of the track and trace capabilities of this blockchain for data verification. But they also want to take advantage of the very quick instant payouts and the micro payments. And that's a really big aspect that we're starting to see. So imagine you're an affiliate marketer and you refer a player to an online casino. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to get paid in real time and in fractions of a penny, or a penny I should say, as the player is playing? And you can do that with our blockchain. And that's why we're seeing a lot of success in this area as well. Last, in terms of use cases, I'll just talk about real quickly, is compliance is really big, player protection, and of course, provably fair gaming. So we're seeing a lot of interest in this space. And when you have a blockchain right, that offers a single source of truth, the gaming operators who are following rules about player protection, uh, are tracking markers of harm, or following self-exclusion lists, they have another method of protecting themselves by putting this data on chain. And it can be, it can be audited by regulators. It also can lead to some efficiency by these operators themselves. So these are just some of the examples that we're seeing at Tal. And 
and these are the examples that relate to iGaming, but there's payments and there's a number of other applications uh, that are coming online pretty quickly. So, last, I just want to mention this to you. We at Tal have the advantage, especially on the business team, you see Cam here, We're, we get to go to these conferences, we get to talk to a lot of businesses. And what's really neat about that is we get to talk to businesses about why they need to go onto blockchain. There's a lot of questions we get asked all the time. And so part of our business team, we've created this professional service advisory. So if you have, let's say you're a betting operator and you're looking about, and you're thinking about integrating with the blockchain, okay? because you think it might make sense with your application, or you're on a legacy software system, you want to use certain aspects of blockchain, that's what we can do at Tal, talk to you and walk you through that journey. Or if you're an innovator building your new app, we can do that as well. Or you're an auditor who wants to hear a bit more about uh, the audit, audit capabilities of an immutable ledger. So that's what Tal is. We have this technology, we have the infrastructure, we have the innovation platform, and now we put that together with our professional services team. So I encourage you to come talk to me for the rest of this uh, conference. Uh, our team, Cam and myself, will be out here, and we look forward to meeting you and answering any questions you may have.